Hey everybody, this is another uh, Three Great Games episode, and this one kind of comes as a request from uh, Fright Creator on YouTube, and he asked if uh, I could do one about Luigi's Mansion, and um, I didn't want to do a whole video just on that one game, um, but I thought it kind of uh, would be a cool theme to do one on uh, games that have a haunted house or sort of more of like a... Halloween feel in the sense of ghosts and or being trapped somewhere um, And there's definitely a lot of video games that actually you know have that theme So it wasn't really hard to pick out three you know good ones to talk about and uh, the first one I wanted to show is called Haunting Ground, you know clever name um, on the PS2 and it came out in 2005 I believe and uh, the game <coughs> basically plays as this girl that's on the cover and uh, she's a dog companion right there. Um, the dog's name is Huey, and actually I forgot her name. I should have uh, probably looked that before. But either way, um, she's 18 years old. Um, you pretty much you wake up in this castle, and you don't really remember how you got there, and you're trapped like in a cage. And the idea is there's uh, you're trying to you know solve the mystery of what's going on and, and escaping the castle. And um, you kind of find out that your parents um, both died in, in a car accident that you were involved with also. Um, and it took place like you know right before the game pretty much starts. And uh, you're now trying to figure out the mystery of you know why you're at this particular castle, which ends up being owned by um, uh, a, a close relative, or, or sorry, a distant relative, actually not a close relative. Um, and the uh, people that... Um, worked at the castle like the gardener handyman and the um, uh, cook and stuff like that are, are in the castle and, and they're very very creepy people um, the dog you you find um, and he helps you out throughout the game and uh, it's not really like there's not a you're not really attacking people and there's really not too many um, it's not like an action game it's definitely more of you're sort of a, a weakling and you're having to just run away a lot or, or find out, you know, ways to, to escape and get away. But um, the castle has 130 rooms to explore um, to help, you know, solve your mystery and stuff and a bunch of uh, interactive environments to deal with. Um, I'm going to steal some stuff from the back because I always tend to do that. Um, the, uh, you know, you're lost in an eerie castle, you're being chased, there's nowhere to run, your only hope for survival lies in the place you'd least expect. Uncover the secret that brought you there before time runs out. Um, the, uh, main function of, I guess, uh, gameplay-wise is definitely dealing with the dog, uh, developing a relationship with him, and, you know, he helps protect you from the, uh, the characters in the mansion, but, um pretty cool game. It's uh, definitely a little bit different. Like I said, it's not action-oriented or anything like that, so uh, if if you're looking for, though, a, a haunted house, haunted mansion kind of game um, in the sense of, you know, just dread of being trapped in a spooky place, then, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. It's not too expensive. Um, it is a little bit harder to find, but uh, I mean, you should be able to get it for 10, 20 bucks at the very, very most, but either way, Give that a check out if you have a PS2 and you want to. Oop, I'm gonna block the camera. And if you want to, uh, you know, be chased around as an 18-year-old barely dressed female, not not bad, not a bad thing to look at. Second game is uh, the one that was requested, which is Luigi's Mansion. Um, Luigi's Mansion came out on the GameCube, and uh, could you guess that you actually play as Luigi? And <clears throat> the story of this is Luigi won a mansion. And um, it just so happens that the mansion he won is possessed by a bunch of ghosts. And uh, he is now tasked with getting rid of the ghosts. And he uses, um, which I'm taking this from the back because I don't want to say it wrong, the Poltergust 3000 vacuum cleaner. And uh, he, he has to use it to pretty much suck up all the ghosts in the house. And it actually gains powers um, later on in the game. You can like shoot fire and water and ice and stuff out to help you know, defeat ghosts. Um, the, uh, you find a bunch of treasure and um, stuff throughout the house also, and Mario um, seems to be trapped inside the mansion as well. It's, uh, it's a very lighthearted game, obviously not intended to be, you know, scary or, or creepy. 
um, because it is, you know, the Mario characters, Mario, Luigi. Um, but it's very different from all the other Mario games. Um, it's worth worth checking out just in the sense that uh, you uh, you don't really ever get to. You know, it's not a platformer. It's not like you're you know jump around and stuff. Um, it's more of an adventure game, and uh, most Mario's are you know platformer games where you you know go collect coins and just jump on top of people. There's not too many of them. I mean, Mario Sunshine is another like a more adventure style like this, and Mario 64, and a couple games on on the Wii. But you know, most of them are are platformer or a platformer RPG mix. Um, so definitely a a cool little game to check out. Like I said, very silly. Um, I mean, I'm gonna steal some more, you know, words from the back. Uh, you got a lot of unique bosses um, in the, for ghosts in the mansion. Um, you'll have to solve the mansion's many mysteries to catch a gallery, a gallery of quirky goat ghouls, such as the fire belching Mr. Lugs, um, Bogmire, you know, very silly, goofy names. But um, Luigi's in a for a spectacular surprise as he creeps into the pitch dark mansion he won armed with only a flashlight and a vacuum custom made for sucking up ghosts. Like I said, um, silly premise, but uh, for some reason on the GameCube, Luigi's Mansion and Mario Sunshine both had some weird fetish with like a backpack thing that did stuff. I mean, his was a vacuum and Mario's was pretty much a giant fucking squirt gun. So I don't know what the, the fascination was with, you know, carrying around you know, an odd household device at that time, but either way, pretty an interesting game, very fun, not too long either. And then finally, I'm actually going to talk about probably the greatest um, horror haunted house game of all time, which I had done a whole video on the series not too long ago, um, but I realized that I actually did not mention this exact um, version and it's a, a remake or a re-release of the original game, and it's Resident Evil Deadly Silence on the DS. Um, I uh, I was really surprised by this game. I was thinking, oh man, they're gonna you know try to none of the handheld Resident Evils have done very well or have uh, held up too well either, um, graphics wise or gameplay wise. But this game actually was packed with quite a bit of of content. You not only get to play, um, you could play the original classic game that was on the PlayStation 1, um, but they have a uh, rebirth mode, which it has quite a few, um, not mini games, but just, you know, parts in the game that are context sensitive with the um, uh, DS itself, like with the microphone or the touch screen. Um, one part, I remember I had to blow out some candles using the microphone. Um, there's a, a first-person view that you get, that, that kind of goes into every once in a while when you open a door that is you have to slash with the uh, stylus on the screen to attack zombies with your knife. I'm sort of like a they caught you off guard and you didn't have your you know gun available, but why the hell wouldn't you have your gun available in a house full of zombies and shit? That's kind of an odd situation, but you know it was fun using the knife. Um, but it, it the graphics-wise, it really doesn't look that much different than the original PlayStation 1 game. I mean, yes, the graphics are going to be a little bit more, you know, blocky, um, but nothing that, uh, if you played the original one, that you would be, you know, disgraced by or anything. Um, they even got all the little movie sequences, the cheesy, like, B-movie sequences from the original game and put it in here, and actually some of the ones that were a little too graphic that they cut out on other versions made it into the DS one, which is really cool. Um... I, uh, I, it's kind of not very common to see um, in stores like GameStop or anywhere because uh, um, it didn't sell that great, but mainly it's, it's pretty old. I mean, it came back out uh, in 2006 now, so there's only a chance we're going to find it is finding it used, um, and I think it's like 15 bucks used somewhere around there, 15 or $17, but um, it's actually probably one of the best values of a Resident Evil game in the fact that, you know, you get two full complete games um, and the original. Uh, so I would say um, this would be my pick probably for best haunted house style game. I mean, you're trapped in a mansion. You uh, need to, you're in the mansion in pretty much the entire game except for a couple little outhouses areas and, you know, fantastic. Zombies are always good. So anyways, thanks guys and come back for another episode. Peace.